Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about light emitting diodes, or LED. These are the points covered in this tutorial. Light emitting diode is a two lead semiconductor light source. It is a PN junction diode that emits light when activated. As the name implies it is a diode that will keep a visible light when it is energized. Let us start with working principle. In any forward bias PN junction there is always an electron hole recombination process near the junction. This recommendation requires that the energy possessed by the unbound free electrons be transferred to another state. Some of the semiconductors release this energy in the form of heat, and some others release in the form of photons. In the case of silicon and germanium, most part of the released energy is dissipated in the form of heat. In some other materials such as gallium arsenide phosphide and gallium phosphide, the number of photons of light energy emitted is sufficient to create visible light. The process of giving off light by applying an electrical source of energy is called electroluminescence. The compound like gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide, and indium phosphide are classified by the valence bands their constituents occupy. For gallium arsenide, gallium has a valency of 3 and arsenic has 5 valence electrons. And this is what called the group 3-5 semiconductors and there are a number of other semiconductor that fit into this category. Now, let us come to the construction part. The junction working as an LED, the conducting surface connected to the P-type material is much smaller to permit the emergence of maximum number of photons of light energy. Point to be noted that the recommendation of injected carriers due to the forward bias junction results in emitted light at the site of recombination. A very low number of photons are absorbed in the structure itself, but very large percentage of photons are able to leave as shown in the figure. Let us define two quantities, under the heading electrical or optical characteristics at temperature 25 degrees Celsius. They are, the axial luminous intensity, and the luminous efficacy. Light intensity is measured in candela, the term efficacy is, by definition, a measure of the ability of a device to produce a desired effect. For the LED, this is the ratio of the number of lumens generated per applied watt of electrical energy. The relative efficiency is defined by the luminous intensity per unit current. The various color specifications are as shown in this table. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would also like to have comments if further modification is required.